Back here at home, we've got new information about the cargo ship that destroyed Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. The National Transportation Safety Board has released an initial report on the collision, that collision killing six people and severely disrupting the economy there in the Baltimore area. Chris Van Cleve, he's here with us in studio. He's got more on this initial report. Chris, good morning. Good morning. The NTSB investigators appear to be honing in on the Dolly's electrical system. Their new investigative update confirms the ship's power issues appear to have started hours before it left port in Baltimore. Moments before the cargo ship Dolly slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge on March 26th, you can see the ship lose power twice. The whole bridge just collapsed. The whole bridge just fell down. Now, a new NTSB report reveals about 10 hours earlier. Before leaving the port of Baltimore, there were two other power failures on board. The first when a crew member mistakenly closed an exhaust damper during maintenance work, causing the engine to stall, knocking out the power. And the second due to insufficient fuel pressure. In getting the power back on, the crew adjusted the configuration of the ship's electrical system before leaving port. Former NTSB chair Robert Sumwalt. NTSB will certainly want to understand exactly what those problems were on the day before the ship sailed. They're going to want to understand why those generators failed. The NTSB is still working to understand if the response to the initial power outages played any role in the ship losing power before it crashed into the bridge. Federal investigators also confirmed shortly before the collision, a ship pilot ordered the anchor to be dropped, but it wasn't in time to stop the collision. Yeah, this is catastrophic. This as body camera video shows the moment's first responders arrived on scene. Monday, demolition crews set off explosives in their continued effort to clear the bridge debris and move the crippled cargo ship to fully reopen one of the nation's busiest ports. The ship's 21 crew members are still on board. The FBI seized their phones as part of its investigation. One thing the NTSB has ruled out, dirty fuel. The tests came back showing no issue there. NTSB Chair Jennifer Hammondy will be on the Hill later today.